on everybody this is a quick review of the harbor freight um pittsburgh tool company um quick connect compression tester uh, this is part number six two six two two um, i'm actually comparing this against um, the advanced auto parts um, purchased um, innova compression tester uh, part number three six one two um, so I was noticing I was getting a misfire um, on my engine and uh, checked the plugs and coils. Um, those are all fairly um, fairly new um, compared to everything else. Um, so check those. Everything looked good. Um, so I'm like, you know what? Possibly could be compression. Um, so picked up a compression tester. Um, I don't have one here everything's at my brother's house so uh want to pick this up and see if i could get a good reading so picked it up got it home uh opened it up um i liked what i saw uh, had a nice carrying case with it um everything looked really good felt high quality um all the, the fittings and everything looked really good and they, they felt fairly sturdy so um Plugged everything in and started to do, I did cylinder one, two, three, four. Um, and you can see here, I got readings of, of ve a very low reading on the first cylinder and then very low readings after the next three cylinders. So I'm like, okay, this is a little odd. Um, so this engine is it's a fairly high compression engine. Um, the readings um, usually on this engine are anywhere from on the good side, north of north of 200 uh, psi. Um, 200 not being the best, but um, in an engine with this many miles on it, kind of to be expected. So got the readings. So I did a second test just to check it out. On the second test, it it seems like this <laughs> gauge just died. I was getting readings of like maybe 30 PSI. Check the gauge, check the seating, reseated it, uh, check the, um, the, the O-rings and everything. Everything's working fine. Made sure my battery was fully charged. Um, so I was getting a good crank and tested it for a third time. Still did the same thing. So looking online and looked at some of the reviews for this, they weren't that great. So I went to Advanced Auto Parts and I picked up this Innova compression tester. Very simple. Um, as you know, compared to the Harbor Freight one, this one doesn't feel as sturdy, but I mean, the results kind of, it spoke for itself. I tested, uh, I knew I was going to find something. So I tested 150 on cylinder one, 210 on the uh, remaining three cylinders. So, you know, my conclusion is that this tester actually works very well compared to um, this Harbor Freight one. And one thing that I did find out after looking at some reviews, there is a difference. Um, this particular um, tester does not have a Schrader valve uh, insert at the end of these connectors to accurately test for pressure and hold it. Um, with this cable being so long and these cables being kind of long, you're adding extra volume to it so you're not getting accurate readings. Um, this particular Innova, let me see if I can get this off of here. So this particular one here has, let's see if this thing will focus. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, let's try this. So this particular one has a Schrader valve right here built into the end of it, and the cable's a lot shorter. So you're getting a more accurate reading from this compression tester compared to this um, tester from Harbor Freight. And it wasn't something I, that I initially picked up on 
until I started looking at the reviews and then I got this new tester home and it worked like magic. It worked like it intended, um, like it was intended to. So, you know, I just wanted to give a quick review for anybody looking for a compression tester. Um, I picked this one up for Harbor from Harbor Freight. It was 35 bucks. I got this one from Advance Auto Parts for 20 bucks. <clears throat> Granted, I used a coupon that's readily available online and five bucks in speed perks. Anybody that shops there will probably have that and it literally cost me $20. So it was cheaper than this Harbor Freight. Doesn't have a carrying case, but it actually works. So carrying case aside, um, this one seems to actually work compared to the Harbor Freight one. Um, so, you know, get what you pay for, so to speak. Um, you know, Harbor Freight has some tools that work every now and then, and then the rest of it's junk. So uh, take it for what it's worth. I just wanted to give this quick review. Um, so um, the next person doesn't make the same mistake that I did. Um, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, if you like the video, um, subscribe to my channel. I have, you know, random things like this on the channel as well. It's mostly going to be car related and working on my cars and stuff like that. Um, so if you like the video, like I said, subscribe below, check out my Instagram. That's in the description below and talk to you later.